Private Robert Kilgore was just 24 years old when he was killed on the battlefield of the First World War. But the fallen soldier, who was one of 32,000 men who died during the Great Push on July 31, 1917, never received any recognition in his hometown of Trenent. Today, on the 91st anniversary of his death, the brave private's name was finally added to the town's war memorial. And watching on as a specially cast bronze plaque was placed were his niece and nephew, who are both in their 80s, and the man who unearthed the story of the stricken Scots Guardsman, Mr Robert Lawson. Young Robert Kilgar left to work as a tinsmith in Edinburgh, and so he would be missed from the local war memorial. And by the time they, they come to put the names in the memorial, I gather that the station would have closed and his father was station master, his grandfather was station master, so he was truly a tenant lad. The family still feel bitter that this young man was, was slain, slaughtered at the command of General Haig. And for the soldier's nephew, who bears the same name, it was an emotional ceremony, as a lone piper played and a crowd gathered to mark his uncle's short life. I didn't really know a great deal about my, my uncle Bobby. He was 24 in fact, when he was killed. I think now I'm extremely grateful that now I can, I can come, come, come to Trenent and have a look at the War Memorial and there uh, there's a, a plaque, a special plaque you, could, you might say, with only his name on.